Hi, my name is William Lindbergh, and this is Entertain Boredom. And tonight, I am going to do a how-to video on making a liqueur uh, cello style, using a cello recipe that I found on YouTube for, uh, for pineapple. And I applied this to blood oranges, and this I made about three weeks ago. And what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be running this fruit, fruit through a colander over here. And to squeeze out all the juices from the fruit, I'm going to do this maybe two or three more times over the next um, six, four or six weeks. And to so I can put all the sugars into the liquor I use to tincture the fruit out. And in, in, while, it, while it's like soaking in the fruit, I keep it in a, a dark place because that's so it doesn't destroy the, the liquors and so forth. And as you can see now, um, the it's got a really nice pinkish hue. It's kind of like a white zen um, kind of a color right now. And those oranges used to be red and now the color's all been leached out of them. And so, I have uh, made some other, because uh, here's, here's one of those nice and nice and red flavored. I've made some other uh, liqueurs. This is a completed one. It's a ginger one, uh, tinctured, ginger tinctured in Everclear and mixed 50-50 with simple syrup. And this one here is an apricot one, uh, dried apricots. They've been soaking since January 3rd, 2017. And um, since they're dried, I'm gonna soak them for at least 90 days, if not six months. It has a nice brown color to it. This is the first one that I have done. It is a turmeric liqueur. And um, that's just like a, I mixed it with Tito's vodka. The original flavoring is right here. This is the tincture. I use this for medicinal purposes. I mixed, the bottle was about here in vodka and I mixed it with like maybe uh, two teaspoons of this here. And um, so, used Everclear because it's kind of a tasteless liquor. Of course, I don't know what it tastes like. I've only had it in jungle juice when I was a lot younger than I am now. And so without much further ado, we're going to begin the process of running these, th these oranges within in here through uh, this colander here. And um, and then I'll be adding new fruit. And you had all those juices. That's why I put a vanilla bean in there too. Oh, I also just remembered that what I'm going to do here is squeeze out the squeeze out the cheesecloth to squeeze all that juices in there. There are all those sugars in it. The alcohol smell is extremely strong. I also added a vanilla bean in there too. Just a little portion of one, hopefully to just to just to get a little bit of spice to it. This other one, I add sugars to a simple syrup that it it may have a little bit more of a creamier type of a, a texture to it. 
and look how nice and red that is. That's just like wine now, red wine. In about three weeks, this is going to be even redder than it is today. Well, this is the final stage. I cut up oranges and um, put them in the jar. And now we are pouring the the tincture fluid right back into it. And it looks like there's more here than there was before. And let's see how many more of these little blood oranges I can add to it. Give it a little bit more coloring and flavor for the next time. And um, see this one's got a lot of uh, really purpley here. They're all different colors here. And I'll come back in two or three weeks and we'll do this all over again. It's like I'm going to have to have a bigger jar for the next time. That's all that's fitting in here. Well, thank you for watching if you are indeed watching. And good night.